Near, far. Now, children, in order to make you understand the meanings of near and far, I thought, let me tell you a story. Well, this is an old story. I'm sure you've heard it. Of a hare and a tortoise. A hare and tortoise were two great friends. The hare was very proud of his fast speed and often laughed at the tortoise for its slowness. Now that is bad. One day, the hare challenged his friend to run a ring. The tortoise was brave, so he accepted the challenge. They decided the starting point and the finishing point of the race. They chose one tree as the starting point and the far away tree as the finishing point of their race. The race began. Now, as you know that hare is a fast runner, it hopped, hopped, hopped and went ahead of tortoise in minutes. Tortoise being slow, slowly, slowly tried to capture the distance. Now, if you notice the first picture, out of the tortoise and the hare, who is near the starting point? Yes, the tortoise is near the starting point and the hare is far away from the starting point. Well, let's continue with the story. Now, as you know, hare got ahead of tortoise when he covered more than half of the distance, he said to himself, Why need I hurry? The tortoise is far behind. Let me take rest under the tree. So he lay down and soon fell fast asleep. The tortoise all the was slow but kept on running the race. He did not think of rest. The tortoise passed the hare and slowly it reached near the finishing point. Now, if you notice the second picture, who is near the finishing point and who is far away? Yes, the tortoise is near the finishing point and the hare is far away from the finishing point. Well, slowly but in a steady way, Tortoise won the race. On the other hand, the hare, despite he runs fast, but he had a bad habit of making fun of others and thinking that he is the best. It was certainly proved wrong as he lost the race. Well, from this story and the pictures, did you understand the concept of near and far? That's great!